What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video today. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Obviously a little bit of a different style video today. As you can see, I'm in vlog mode for probably the first time ever to start a video. But anyway, today, you may remember about a year ago is when I submitted my setup, not exactly this one, but my old setup to Setup Wars, which is a show run by TechSource, a very good tech YouTuber, where five setups pretty much compete and see which one is the best kind of thing. So I'm hoping to get my setup on that show so I can kind of see where I am with other setups, if you know what I mean. So today I'm going to try and resubmit my setup to Setup Wars and actually try and get on the show this time because obviously last time it didn't really work. But before I do that and before I even try to take pictures of my setup and submit them to Setup Wars, obviously there's a lot of things that need to be done, not just with the setup, but like with my room and stuff like that. As you can see, it is a little bit messy back there. And I figured if I'm going to clean my setup, why not just clean my entire room? So I thought this was probably the best time to clean my room because I'm doing my setup as well, but also I can make a video out of it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the cleaning process of my room. This will be part one, but there will be a part two coming where I actually submit my setup. Vlog mode is also pretty tiring. So um, this video might not be too long, but uh, I'm hoping just my arm won't get tired. That's pretty much all. It is nice too, because I can actually see myself on camera for once because I'm using my front camera. So that's a nice feature. Maybe I'll do some more videos in vlog style. If you guys do like the vlog style so far, just go down below and leave a like. And that'll tell me that maybe I should do more of these vlog style videos. All right, anyway, guys, let's get to the cleaning of my room and setup. So guys, the first thing I'll do is kind of just give like a little tour of my setup, I guess, just so you guys know what's going on and show you what I guess needs to be touched up and cleaned and stuff like that. So uh, starting with my chair, uh, I already have a setup tour. So if you guys want to watch that, I'll try to remember to link it right in the top corner up here. And uh, that is a pretty good video. So I would suggest watching that after this video. But anyway, chair, just like a gaming chair, not a good chair. I mean, it's pretty comfy, but like if I wanted something that would be better for my back and my posture, then I would definitely go with a little bit more expensive of a chair and a little bit better looking chair as well, but it doesn't look too bad. I think it works out well. So then for my desk, it is just the classic Ikea countertop with Alex drawers. And then we also got some furniture risers in there. That's pretty cool. Keyboard Corsair K95 Platinum. Uh, right now, I just have the lighting effect on kind of rainbow. I have every lighting effect on rainbow as of now. However, I think it looks it looks pretty good. I mean, even though there's not really a sort of color scheme going on. Then the mouse, we have the Corsair Glaive RGB, which is pretty cool. And then we also have the Corsair MM300, I believe, mouse pad. Extended mouse pad. Looks pretty good. Kind of looks good with the wood desk. I really like the wood desk in this setup. I just think it looks pretty good. And I guess I'll just do the PC now. We have i5 8600K, GTX 1060, uh, Game Diaz Talos M1 case, and then those are the Game Diaz Aeolus M2 124R fans. Long name, but they look pretty good. And then 16 gigabytes of 3000 speed RAM and 500 watt power supply. That's pretty much all. That's all you need to know. And then we also have like the speakers, kind of egg-shaped speakers, but I think they're the Edifier E25 HD Luna Eclipse. They're red. I kind of wish they were more neutral, like white or black, but I think they look pretty good. They sound amazing though, so um, I guess that's, that's worth it. We also have a desk-mounted 34-inch, 100 hertz, 1440p ultra-wide right there, and then a wall-mounted, just like pretty basic 60 hertz, 24-inch flat panel. Um, so they look pretty good together, obviously, but maybe if I do that, and then we just got a background, I should probably span it. However, let me show you if I actually span the wallpaper, it ends up looking really bad. So that's what the wallpaper spanned, and I guess it looks a lot better on camera, but like honestly, with this wallpaper, I just think it looks a lot better when there's just two, because it's a nice wallpaper, and it kind of just ruins it if I do that. Like for one, you can't even see the whole thing, it kind of gets cut off but also there's just, there's nothing up here. I think it would look better if there was. So I'm just gonna switch it back to having two of the same one. And then if we do the stretch orientation, it looks pretty good. So we also have a black desk lamp over there and then a fake Ikea plant because even though it's green, every setup needs something on that side to balance out the PC, which is why I got the lamp and the plant. And then up above, we have a poster of Boston and then we have some foam panels symmetrical on both sides obviously but these are black and red which kind of leads me to maybe the main point of this video which is like color schemes and obviously this rainbow color scheme right here isn't really going to work out with the black and red foam panels because it, it doesn't really look that good once you look up at the rest of the colors 
on the wall. So to address this problem, obviously we need to come up with a color scheme of this setup. Now I was trying to do black and red, which is why I have the red speakers and the black and red foam panels. However, I think with the wooden desk and the white Alex drawers, it's not gonna look that good but it'll look a lot better than this rainbowy mess of RGB. So today I'm pretty much just gonna show you guys a few different color schemes with all the RGB and foam panels and speakers and everything on my desk, just to show you guys how much better you can make your setup look just by changing the colors and the wallpaper. So guys, I'm now here in my kind of wannabe RGB color scheme. You can't really see the PC, but that's also all RGB. I'll do some clips so you guys can see what the entire setup looks like with this kind of RGB color scheme. But the problem with this is that we have pretty much every single color right here that I, I guess I'll call the RGB color. But then we also have on the wallpaper, we have purple and then the RGB strip behind the desk is white. And then my RAM sticks are purple for some reason. I don't know why, but as you can see, there can definitely be problems with this, especially when there's the black and red foam panels and the red speakers because RGB and red aren't really the exact same color. And I think to balance out the black and red foam panels and the red speakers, you kind of need to match those colors everywhere else or match the colors of this with the speakers and the foam panels, which obviously it's too late to do that because that would mean I would have to buy new speakers and new foam panels just to submit to Setup Wars, which I don't think would be worth it because Honestly, I probably won't even get on the show. So now what I'm gonna do is kind of just show you guys how much better I can make this setup look, in my opinion, by just changing the colors, which by the way, is free. Getting new speakers and new foam panels might not be, it won't be actually. So the first thing I can do is just take out my trusty RGB strip remote. And what I can do with that is change it to red. Now the thing you guys can probably see, however, is the keyboard and the mouse. So. If I wanna do that, I already have a red profile. Obviously the lights are a little bright right now, so you might not be able to see really that it's red. But again, I will do some B-roll just to prove to you guys it is actually red and looks pretty good. Now, obviously you guys can't really see the PC, but I will do another shot with that in. However, right now I'll show you the wallpaper and obviously the purple and the red don't look that good together. So right now we're gonna try and find a nice red wallpaper that'll kind of complement the entire setup. Come over here and I'm gonna browse for the wallpaper I just downloaded, which is right here. And then if I choose the picture like this, you can see right now it's in the stretched orientation, but obviously that looks pretty good. I don't know if that's gonna be the final decision I make with this. However, for now, I think I can keep it like that it's a lot of black and red, which I like. So for now, I'm gonna keep this and let's move on to the colors in my PC. All right guys, so as you can see, the PC is still kind of just RGB everywhere. Well, the main setup actually looks pretty good with the black and red color scheme. So what I'm gonna do is change all the lights in my PC from rainbow to black and red. It already, the case is black. So just change the lighting to red and it will be kind of a black and red color scheme. So the first thing I'm gonna do, grab my fan remote and just change it to red. But obviously that doesn't change the case lighting or inside the purple RAM sticks. So I have a fix to that. There. But the last thing to do is my RAM sticks. And there we go. Now we have completely red RAM sticks and a completely black and red PC and a completely black and red setup. And guys, now my entire setup is just black and red. And as you can see, I'll do some before and after shots. It looks a whole lot better then when everything is rainbow and there's white LED lights in the background, you know, RGB everywhere, purple RAM sticks for some reason. Um, but you can just see the difference. You can also see why on Setup Wars, the seal of approval setups always have a color scheme. So guys, there it is. The setup finally looks a lot better than it did when it was just kind of rainbow barf, RGB everywhere. It is kind of like a, a black and red theme. I hope you guys do like it because I think it looks pretty cool. I think maybe it could look a little better if it wasn't black and red because of the white Alex drawers and the wood desk and stuff like that. Definitely almost ready to submit to Setup Wars. However, we still got a little bit of work to do. So that's gonna be kind of the second part of this video, kind of cleaning it up, making it look a lot better, even though, it, I mean, it already looks pretty good, but kind of just the little things to try and get the seal of approval. All right, so you guys could probably tell, um, but my room is fairly messy right now. There's a lot of things all over it. So uh, the second thing, second part of this video is kind of just gonna be me sorting everything out, making the room look a lot better 
which is kind of just like also my studio. So it's kind of making my studio look a little bit better. And uh, what I think I'm gonna do right now is kind of take all this stuff out and kind of just make a pile, which is a great way to clean, um, but then kind of just see what happens from there and see where I can put all this stuff because I have no clue right now. Alright guys, so we started this video in vlog style, we might as well end it in vlog style. So that is going to wrap it up for this video, but before I complete my outro and do the whole thing, I just want to show you guys a few things and how I actually improved my room, um, because it does look pretty good, it looks better than before definitely, however, of course it's not ever going to be 100% finished. So one thing I did that I'm happy about is I finally tucked in the chair because there's no boxes under the desk anymore. There is still that box, which is gross. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But then this is a case that was under there. And I'm just going to keep that under there because it doesn't fit in my closet right now. And it doesn't look too bad under there. It's kind of hidden. I also just had to put these back because I haven't actually put them anywhere on my wall yet. But I was thinking maybe over here, maybe over here. And then it looked pretty good. But uh, anyway, for now, that's pretty much all I could do. So I hope you guys do enjoy those changes to my setup because I know I definitely do. And next episode will be when I actually submit my setup to Setup Wars. So guys, definitely stay tuned for that. I will put it linked in the description down below when it's actually uploaded, probably within a week or so. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy, a sub and a like would be massively appreciated as I am trying to hit... Actually, I already hit 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for that, by the way. And I am trying to hit 3,000 by the end of the year. I think it's definitely possible. So go mash that subscribe button if you want it to be possible. Also guys, I will just link all my setup stuff in the description down below. And those are Amazon affiliate links, by the way, full transparency there. I'm not trying to trick you guys into buying something, but if you want to, that would help a lot. And thank you to everyone who has bought something off those links. So anyway, guys, if you want to check anything out in the setup, like I said, link in the description down below. So guys, that is going to be it for this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.